Swiss balls are great to aid your posture while sitting, but I'm going to provide some exercises without any additional equipment to give you a break from work. Hi everyone and welcome to Exercise for Health. I'm Richard and today I have a 10 minute Swiss ball workout for you to follow. If you're new to this channel, we offer tips, advice and exercises each week to help you manage your health condition with physical activity. So go ahead and tap the subscribe button below and the bell icon if you want to be notified of when we upload a new video. So we are going to do a quick circuit where we will perform an exercise for 45 seconds then have 15 seconds to transition to the next one. You only need your ball pumped up to be firm enough when sat on it, a wall space and a floor area to do the exercises in. You can do this at any time of the day to keep your body moving and it won't be too cardiovascular in nature, but it may not be suitable for someone with a heart condition as we will be getting up and down off the floor. It will work a lot of muscles in the body, particularly your core, and hopefully you'll be familiar with the exercises I'm providing or you've already seen my introduction video to Swiss ball training. Although I will briefly explain each exercise just before we start it. Right, so grab your balls and let's get started. So first of all, I want you sat on your ball, feet about shoulder width wide on the floor and we're gonna start off with bouncing butt wiggles. So we're just gonna be moving the ball just slightly left to right as you bounce up and down just so we can start to mobilize the spine, activate the muscles in the core. And we're doing this first one as a bit of a warm up. So we'll do a couple of exercises in this first 45 seconds. Good. Make sure you're still sat up nice and tall while you're moving the hips from left to right. Right, let's stop the bouncing one now, bring the feet in together. And then again, still sit up tall. So what we're gonna do from there is do some shoulder rolls. But as you do that, I want you to do a calf raise. So as you lift your shoulders, you lift your heels up off the ground. Shoulders squeeze back and then drop back down. So we're doing the calf raise and the shoulder rolls together. Nice big movement. Good, do one more. Okay, so have a transition now into the torso twists. So for this one, you need to be lying over the top of the ball, so the ball's underneath the shoulder blades. Feet are shoulder width wide on the floor still, hips up high, hands in front of you, and then from there we're gonna twist as we rotate, trying to get the shoulders to come up on top of the ball, and then go back and then twist the opposite way. So depending on your mobility, depends on how far you can actually twist. Just be careful that your hips don't sag down, so trying to keep the hips pushed up towards the ceiling all the time, all the way through the movement. Again, don't do this quickly, just do it slow and controlled, so you can feel the muscles around the waist work. You might feel it into your bottom a bit as well. Good. Last few seconds on this one. Good, okay, walk yourself back. So you can take the ball up off the floor. So we're gonna do steering wheel next with the ball. So this time you want your hands on either side of the ball. And basically while you're standing up tall, we're gonna rotate it like you've got a steering wheel like using the ball. So get as much movement as you can in the shoulders and the arms. Try and keep those arms straight all the time. You're gonna feel this in your shoulders as we rotate them. So we're trying to get to a point so you've got one hand stacked over the top of the other and then twist the opposite way. But keep the ball the same height all the time so it's always just in front of you while you're rotating the arms. Good, should be starting to feel that in the shoulders by now. Last 10 seconds on this one. And then we're gonna to transition to a squat against the wall. Good, okay, so with your ball now, place it against the wall and you're gonna turn your back on it so the ball should be sitting just on top of the bottom, right in the base of the spine. Feet are shoulder width wide, hands you can put wherever you want, doesn't really matter. And then we're gonna squat down from there. So we're gonna squat down as low as you comfortably can and then stand back up. As you're going down, think about pushing the bottom back into the ball. So it'll just take a little bit of pressure off the knees and it'll help them bring the ball into that lower part of the back. So the ball should be coming up a little bit as you go down. Again, nice, slow and steady. 
can feel this working the quads on the front of the thighs. Good, keep breathing with it. Make sure the knees stay the same width as your feet, so be careful, watch your knees that they don't collapse inwards. Make sure they're staying the same width as your feet throughout the whole movement. Last few seconds on this one. Good. Right then, take the ball to the floor. We're gonna do press ups next. So we're gonna do this kneeling. We don't wanna have the ball too far away, but you want your hands to be about a shoulder width wide on the ball. And then from there, keeping your body in a straight line from shoulders to hips to knees. Bend at the elbows to let the chest go into the ball and then push yourself back out. You can make this exercise harder if you want by moving the ball further away. But just be careful your shoulders don't lift up. There's a lot of stability involved with this one, particularly into the shoulders themselves, because you're trying to control the movement. Good, just be careful those shoulders don't lift up towards your ears. So keeping the shoulders down and back, as you bend the elbows, you should feel that on the muscles in the back of the arms and the triceps. You're also working the chest and shoulders a little bit. Good, last few seconds on this one. Good, well done. Right, we're now gonna to transition to a rollout. So starting off really in the same position, still kneeling on the floor, but this time you can have your forearms and your elbows on the ball. Drop your hips down so they're between your knees and your shoulders again. And the movement is to just move the arms, moving the ball out, and then bringing it back in. Now you notice as I'm doing that, I'm trying to keep the body dead still. So I'm not letting the hips sag down, I'm not sticking the bottom back behind me. I'm keeping the body still as I roll the ball away from me as far as I comfortably can and then bring it back in. So we're working the muscles on the middle part of the back, but obviously working a lot of the core muscles at the same time. Again, slow and steady with the movement so we can activate those muscles of the core. Keep breathing with it, of course. Last few seconds on this one. Good, okay. Right, bring the ball in a little bit closer to you. You need to get the hips over the top of the ball this time, because we're gonna do alternating leg and arm lifts. So from here, I've got my hands on the floor, about shoulder width wide, feet on the floor, shoulder width wide. And then from there, I'm gonna raise one arm and opposite leg up and then bring it back down, and then I do the opposite side. So left arm, right leg, slow, bring it back down, right arm, left leg. So we're keeping both arms and both legs completely straight, but you're trying to maintain balance over the ball at the same time while you go through that movement. Good. Good, keep control of that core keep the balance and but aim to do these slower slower is better last couple of seconds good right come off that one next one we're going to do is hip extension so now we need the ball a little bit further away from you but you're going to lie down on your back so we want the heels up on top of the ball legs completely straight hands to the side of the body and then we're going to push the heels down to lift the hips up, so you're coming up onto your shoulder blades and then drop the bottom back down to the floor. So try and get the hips up as high as you can. If you want to add a bit of rotation in the hip as you go up, you can let the toes go outwards. So that will just help recruit some of the muscles around the bottom a bit more as you're lifting the hips up. So try and come right up onto the shoulder blades, get the hips up as high as you can before you drop them back down. As soon as they touch the floor, lift up again okay hopefully you can maintain the balance of the ball so it's not moving to left left to right too much if you find that's easy you can always just bring your hands onto the torso to make it harder okay that's that one the next one we're starting in the same position but this time we're just going to lift the hips off the floor just a little bit and then we're going to do the leg curl so we're bringing the ball bending the knees in towards your bottom and then back out straight off you go Again, hand position, you can choose. If you've got your hands flat on the floor like I've got it, helps a little bit more with stability. If you want to work your core a bit more, you can bring the hands off the floor so you're just up on your elbows. Or if you really want to go for it, you can cross your arms over your chest. 
So just keep the hips just gently lifting, hovering off the floor so they're not too high. You should be feeling that in the muscles down the back of the legs. Good, slow and controlled as the ball goes in and out. Last 10 seconds. And we've just got one exercise left to do. Good. Okay, right, let's stand up for the last one. We're gonna do Bulgarian split squat. So this is where you might wanna hold on to the wall next to you for a little bit of support. So I've got the toes on the ball behind me, quite a long way back. And then I'm gonna think about bending the back knee down towards the floor and then push through that foot to come back up right again. So use the wall just for a little bit of balance if you need it. We're gonna do about 20, 25 seconds on each leg on this one. So rather than just staying on one leg for the whole 45 seconds, that'd be a bit too much. We'll swap sides in a sec. Good, right, let's switch over. So change your feet, opposite foot up on the ball. Again, quite a long way back, just make sure the toes are on the ball behind you. Hold on to the wall if you need it. And then bending down. So think about taking that back knee down, straight down towards the floor. But it's this leg that's doing most of the work at the front. So really push through that foot to come up right again. You should feel that in your bottom as well. Good, last few seconds. Good. Good work, everybody. Well done. I hope this Swiss ball workout has been fun and got you moving a bit. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a like by clicking the thumbs up button below to help this channel grow so more people can benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching and remember to stay active, keep moving, and I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click here to subscribe to this channel or click here to watch a recent video. See you soon.